What is going on everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to do something fun and if you guys didn't know already, I am a huge DPS Paladin hater. I just rank him at the bottom of a list of all my tier lists no matter what. So if you've noticed that, good on you. I don't like DPS Paladin. I think it is trash. Even in tier 4, I think it's trash. A support should just be a support. Now, am I all for flexibility in, you know, what you do with your character? Of course. But the problem is, is that especially in our version, support shortage is a real thing. Now, you probably are not seeing that right now. But trust me, when you get to hard mode a gear and uh, other stuff that are coming out like Brel Shaza, you're going to see the support shortage happening. And to see more of these Paladins converting to DPS Paladin for that hype. Like, oh my god, look at this hype. Ha ha ha, I'm DPS Paladin doing MVP Crow Fighter in all the raids. I get it, okay? I'm not saying that you can't do damage with this class. But my biggest problem with this stupid Paladin DPS thing is that it is taking away an already scarce supply of supports even more. That's all. But it could also be damage. So I'm just going to look at this with a hateful lens. So I hope you guys all enjoy watching this kind of content together. So what do we have starting up today? So we have four videos. One is just a pure DPS test. The other one is going to be a kind of guardian. I think, yeah, this is their guardian that they kill. Uh, here is an echidna. And then here, I don't know what this is. Let's see. Oh, this is a gear. Okay, so we'll wrap it up with Aegir. Perfect. All right, are we all ready to see some DPS Paladin? Let's see. The DPS Paladin in Trixian. Let's see how much bullshit he does here. So he's 1710. That is ridiculous, by the way. I, ju I just want everybody to know that, right? 1710 item level. That is a lot. So this is a little biased, right? Like, give me a 1710 Soul Leader or 1710 Sork, and let's compare damage there. Just because he's 1710 DPS Paladin and he's just doing these numbers. Oh, wow. Wonderful. Okay. What is all this crap? Okay, so I guess he's stacking Adrenaline or what? What is this? Okay, sure. Yeah, that, surely that's not the gameplay, right? Oh, okay. He's just showing all the skills. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So he, he's basically showing that each skill is doing like 200 mil DPS. I think I think that's the idea here, right? Yeah, like same here. It's like 200 mil. I guess a little less for this one. Oh, no. 200, 180, 183. Okay. Okay, okay, Let, let's move on, bro. Like, we, we got it, we got it. We got it, sir. Thank you. What is this one? 150, 78, 80, 80. Uh, okay, so this one does a, not as much damage. His R skill. So his Q, his W, his E did pretty decent, I'm guessing. Or is he even going in order? I don't even know. I, I don't even think he's going in order. What the heck is this skill? All right. Like, is this even realistic in a real raid scenario? Like, what is this, man? Nah, man. Like, it just doesn't look good. Like, this one already looks like a huge animation lock skill. Uh, it, it just doesn't look good. I'm sorry, guys. Like, I, I'm, I'm looking at this with a huge bias. And I hate this already. It looks like garbage. Yeah, same thing, right? Same swirly thing. So there's like three different skills that are swirlies. No, dude. This is bad. Okay. So I think we got the idea here. I, I don't want to watch any more of this. I mean, uh, shout outs to Young Hun Pyo. Los to Ak e Modu. Whatever it says. Okay. <laughs> anyway, let's move on to the Guardian. So this one. Yeah. This is a Guardian says this is his fastest uh, okay dude my korean school is not good <laughs> i'm embarrassing myself all right let's just watch this using bandy cam like it's 2009 all right 
114 mil. 700 mil there. Okay, so a bunch of like 200 mil. Okay, that was a one bill. So I think that was his awakening, right? It's a, it's a good burst. I will say like, it does do pretty decent burst and it looks like the skills come off cooldown pretty, pretty quickly. Like, I feel like this would just have been a better class just simply as a DPS class, right? Not a support turn DPS, but just a DPS class. Like, it, it would be sick to have somebody with a sword. This is kind of what I feel like Berserker should have been. This is what Berserker should have been, guys. Just constant spam, and it just feels like it's not as punishing, but I think we need to see a different raid to see this. All right, let's see this. So, um... Okay, okay, okay. Oh, the video's too short. Let me see. I want to see this MVP screen. Okay. So it looks like he did the most damage, yes. But it looked like everybody did the same-ish damage, right? Like, everybody got, I think, upright fighter here. So he didn't kill it. He, he, he wasn't killing it at all. And we don't know what the War Dancer and Slayer's gear look like. Like, he's 1710. He's he's juiced to the gills. Let's keep that in mind, guys. This is, could be extremely biased. Um, but even just the fact that he's 1710 and he didn't even beat them by that much tells me, you know, like, I'm not convinced yet. But let's look at the Echidna. <laughs> This? Okay, so he, he, he's not mobile. He just got caught there. That holy sword doesn't seem that great. Hey, it seems like very long animations, I will say. Like, yes, Echidna is great for that, but what about other ones? And does he have any push immunity skills or, you know, how many of his skills are paralysis immunity? I have no idea of anything, by the way. Let me know in the comments if, you know, he's just the best class in the world and we all have to convert to the Church of uh, Holy Knight DPS. Okay, he's getting knocked down again. Is he a back attacker? Uh, surely not, right? It would be weird if he was a back attacker. Also, the thing is, too, I don't know his skill level as a player. So, maybe even a god paladin who, who knows this class perfectly might play better than him. I got no idea. But so far, it doesn't look that great in my opinion like you'll see the occasional great numbers but you just saw right there he's just hitting a few 80 100 mils repeatedly keep in mind yes that's a lot of damage but he is 1710 everybody 1710 item level like bro i just i see somebody with an akon plus 25 weapon here and this guy has a plus 20 weapon all these people have plus 20 akon weapon like this is not real man <laughs> oh my god do this with equally skilled 1710 item level players and let's see where you go how about that right because i feel like this is just jabate at this point again i'm biased i know but this just seems like jabate and it just... yeah like it doesn't seem to do that much damage like right there it exploded and it only did 150 mil 1710 doing only 150 mil for that Look, 100, 200, 77, 370 for that long wind-up. Like, <laughs> dude, who wants to, like, okay, like, it's fun. Like, it looks fun because it's like, wee! But who the heck wants to do that in a real raid? Like, you, if you get interrupted, it's over. Oh, man. All right, let's see, uh, let's see the basement. Okay, right, let's see his burst. I'm curious about his burst. Let's see this. Okay, 137, 80, 300, 100, 100, 20, 653, done. 39, 80, 80, 280, 786. So, I just want everybody to know that I've seen soul leaders that are less geared than him, like tier 4 soul leader videos, and their one guillotine does like over like 2 billion damage. So, just think about that for a second. Like, it, this is great and all, but realistically, okay, let's see this awakening. 
3.5 bill. Okay. Uh yeah, this this <laughs> I'm sorry guys. This this doesn't look good at all. Like that charge skill just did 200 mil. Like that's it. Really? He's only he's doing a bunch of 100 200 mils and then the occasional 700 dot. Right? Like that that's stream that feels like striker's damage, honestly. This feels like a, a striker 2.0 just like, you know, it's the mediocre DPSer. Which is fine because I mean it's a great improvement because he is a support class after all, or intended to be a support class, but now turned into a DPS, and all of a sudden, because Smilegate decided to give him unlimited meter, he can just get away with this. I don't know, man. Okay, okay. Well, I think I've seen enough for this one. Uh, we'll check this MVP screen out. Uh, he better have done like 50% damage, right, Shirley? Oh, wait, does he have an Esther? Wait, hold on a second. Is that an Esther weapon? Okay, no, that doesn't look like an Esther weapon. Okay, okay, man. Okay, man. You can't post this and only do 35%. Really? I saw half of the party have a con plus 20 weapon. There's no way, man. I mean, I mean, okay, I'm sure some of them probably because uh, I heard that you can change the, the sk uh, weapon skin color. So maybe some of them just like the white color. I don't know. So what would be really helpful here is to see the entire roster, everybody's gear. Like, are you the bozo doing 17 item level with a bunch of 1640s? Or are you playing with a bunch of 1700s? That makes a huge difference. If you're doing 35% and everybody is 1700, then kudos. Like, I think it's a great class. I think, like, actually viable. But to show me only 35% and, and you are 1710 item level, and I saw people with a con plus 20 weapon, like, nah, man. This is not real. Like, we'll move on to A gear and let's let's see this crap. Like, honestly, this this is not okay. Oh my god, he just missed. <laughs> he just missed two skills. He just missed his two skills. Look at this. Oh my. Oh my god, man. Look at this. He missed. And then he missed. Bro, what the. Yeah, dude. Nah, man. It, it's too sensitive to aim. It's way too sensitive to aim. Like, this is way too hard. Nah, like, it's not worth the effort. I think this is a bait class. It has to be. Any video saying that this is OP is a liar. Either they're trying to farm all these DPS Paladin, uh, this DPS Paladin community and make them happy. Dude, if you are part of the DPS Paladin community, this is this is not it, man. Like I, we're fighting today. We're fighting. I'm sorry. We're fighting. This is this is bad. Like he's not even DPSing half the time here. I guess he's not uh, comfortable with the raid yet. Let's see here. Yeah, I mean he didn't even immune that. Okay. Well, I mean, so let's see what happened here. Did he at least get MVP? Okay, so. All right, dude. All right. What I see is three people dead. So there's only an option for three DPSers to get the the most damage. So you're already off to a good start. Now, is he going to get the most damage? I'm sure he is. That's why he posted his video. Right? Let's see. Where is it? Ta-da! Dungeon clear. Let's see. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, okay, of course you post it. Okay. He did beat the Shadow Hunter. That's fine. But I will say this still seems like crap. Because it feels like more people did damage than him. Like he's doing like basically he was doing like mid damage. But then all the good DPSers who are greeting for skills died. And so he was left over. 
And then he tried to proudly post this video to say, look at me, I got Cruel Fighter. Well, yeah, when half the team is dead, you're going to get Cruel Fighter. Post a video where everybody's alive and you post everybody's item level to be 1700 and above. And then I'll believe you. But I mean, you know, much respect to this guy, right? Like he's doing DPS Paladin and it looks like it works. For the most part, it works, right? So go show him some love. But I'm not convinced with DPS Paladin. I'm sorry. Like, I'm going to see need to see more. I just thought this was a fun video to see if I can get converted. And what's the result? Unfortunately, I'm not converted. This was a huge disappointment and exact confirmation of what I expected. But anyway, let me know what you all think. Am I wrong? Is DPS Paladin the future of this game? Let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, thank you all for watching, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye.